851, turn right, heading 180. Hey everyone, welcome back to DJ's Aviation and a new order rumour which is quickly picking up pace. During the month of October, Airbus listed in their order tally that they actually received 10 orders for the Airbus A330neo. While we know that 8 were placed for Q8 Airways, these 10 seem to have gone unnoticed until now. The order was placed on the 30th of October and flew completely under the radar, with not a single announcement being made by Airbus. This isn't common, as usually Airbus, even if it is an unidentified customer, will announce the order. It's now being reported by Reuters that the buyer was Delta. According to two industry sources, Delta purchased 10 additional A330-900 NEOs. While someone else said Delta has for some time now been looking to expand on their order for the jet. Their previous order for some reference was for 25 of the A33900neos. The Airbus A330neo has in recent months sparked a lot of debate, with a number of people questioning whether it has been a success. It's important to remember that while the A330-900 and now the A330-800 have both completed their first flight, the aircraft on a whole is yet to actually be officially delivered to a carrier where it can commence passenger operations. It'll be mid-2019 before the first A330-800 is delivered to Kuwait Airways. Airbus has continued to push the aircraft on carriers similar to what they've been trying to do with the A380. The aircraft has recently, you could say, been pushed to the side by the A321 family of aircraft. This aircraft slots in that 220 to 260 seat market, and offers just a little bit less than that of the A330neo. Its long range feature is a hit with many airlines. However, as the A330neo fits between the A350 and the A321neo, it's quite perfect. And it means that the 250 or so orders for the aircraft can't be taken away by Boeing's own NMA. Ignoring all this though, the A330CO was such a success for Airbus that it's quite difficult for them to just abandon the project. The A330neo is an aircraft which doesn't need a high amount of orders to make it a success for Airbus. Often aircraft need higher orders for the public's perception to change and determine it to be a success. Interestingly enough though, Delta operates a fleet of both Airbus and Boeing aircraft currently, but its future fleet for long-haul operations consists mainly of Airbus aircraft. For example, they have the A350-900 operating and also more on order. As I mentioned, they have the A330-900neo. Moving away from long-haul operations, they have the A321-200, A320neo, and finally the A220. The only order for Boeing aircraft currently comes from the 737-900ER, which will conclude its delivery in 2019. So the future, you could say, is definitely Airbus, and with a number of 777s, 767s, and more, the A330neo is really the perfect aircraft to replace some of these aircraft. Rather than just leaving you with that, let's go in depth with their aircraft. Delta currently operate the 767-300ER and 56 of them. Currently, Delta has 25 A350s on order, including the ones they've delivered. That's just what I'm giving you as the main number. And they also have 25 A330neos on order in total. That means they have 50 to replace the 56 767-300ERs. There is obviously a gap. If they want to expand, no doubt these rumoured additional 10 A330neos will definitely help them with that, as it will give them an additional 4 aircraft to play around with. What are your thoughts on this? Do you believe this potential order is a good move for Delta in the future? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, I'd like to thank you very much for your continued support, and I do very much look forward to you all joining me in the next one.